it's about the end of September and October starting to get cool, so we want to put a barrier down. I'm trying to keep these fall invaders from coming inside. So turn off your cell phone, turn off the computer, turn off the television set. We're going to take a walk around this house and we're going to think like an ant. We're going to think like a spider. We're going to think like a ladybug. How can we get into this house? It's called observation. This is what it looks like when you got ants and other insects trailing around. They love this area right up against the foundation of your house. Every window in this house is a way for insects to come in. So we'll treat around these lower windows. We'll also treat all up against the foundation all the way around the house. Check your downspouts, make sure they're not leaking and falling off. A lot of times bugs will, if they find water at the bottom, that's a good way to attract insects. Dryer vents. A lot of times they're cracked or open. This one's pretty well sealed up. Anything you got growing right up against your house is like making a highway for bugs. And here we are, the air conditioning unit. There is a little bit of a water drain here coming from inside where the blower is, and it's dripping water right into here. This is like a watering hole for the local bugs. We've walked around the house and observed what's going on. We found the insects. As soon as it gets cold, they're coming in. We're gonna put up a barrier now. And the one I like to use, I like to use a granular contact insecticide. This will all go around one side of this house. I like this because I can get it back. I don't need a spreader, but I can still get it right back where I want it. Boy, you can really see this web now. I didn't even see that before. The aerosol is nice because I know I can pinpoint the placement of it right up against the foundation, right around the windows. I can get all the way up here, almost to the second floor, and treat this whole edge, because bugs love edges. I'm gonna put this product right where I know these bugs are gonna be. Now we're ready for the fall. Good time to keep it in. annoying fruit flies come from. They're crawling all over the place. I just put this fruit away yesterday and they're all over, all over it. Well, this week I got a different plan. Here's a special piece of fruit I know they can't resist. It's called a taro fruit fly trap. Put in a little of this lure and you can tell it's working because you can see them. That's last week's harvest. All right, guys, try this piece of fruit out. It's completely safe, non-toxic, and 100% natural. The Taro Fruit Fly Trap. It's the last meal those fruit flies will ever eat. Look for Taro products at taro.com. See you later. number one pest in America, ants, and the number one place you're gonna find them, and we find them year after year is in the kitchen. Here's what I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them a sweet, food-based product, similar to pancake syrup. It's called Taro Ant Killer, but it has something else in it. It's got 5% borax in it. Borax is something that the ants eat it, it kills them really, really slow. It may take a couple of days, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna allow my little ant visitors here to carry this back to the person I'm really going after, the queen. You tear off little cards on the back, you put drops down, and pretty soon the drops are surrounded by ants. Looks like pigs at a trough. Within about 24 hours, you're gonna have more ants than you had right now. Just remember, it's bait, wait, and eliminate. We're trying to make it a little bit easier for people. We came up with a little pre-filled bait station. You just slice off the end here. This is the, like a little ramp. We call it the little ramp of death. We want them to go back to the colony, recruit more ants, pick up this bait, and carry it back to the colony and kill the queen. Remember, the outside wall is just past here, and that's where the ant colony is. It's right underground. Okay, now that we've got the kitchen protected, it's gonna be bait and wait. I'm gonna take the fight directly to the ants. We're gonna go right to that outside wall. Now, what's really neat about baiting around the outside of a house, is it draws the ants that are in the house out to it. It also keeps the ones that are around the perimeter from going in. It's not complicated. It's liquid. Remove the stakes. This will pierce the aluminum. When it does, the liquid will fall down into that chamber. And now the ants can crawl up here and up here 
and we can even stake it down if we want. Besides using bait, which is always the first thing you do when you have an ant control problem, you can also build a barrier around your house with a contact insecticide. I've got a spreader I use on the lawn when I'm going after grubs and things, but up against, right up against the foundation I'm doing ants, this little shaker bag works much better for me because I can direct it right up against the foundation. You know, a lot of people think that insect problems and, and ant infestations are really complicated. It's really very simple. Tarot ant control. The bottom line is, it works. Hi, I'm Stu Clark. I'm the research director at the Taro Company, and I'm gonna take one minute to show you our product, Taro Ant Dust, what it is and how to use it. Taro Ant Dust is a waterproof dust that you can use to set up a barrier between anything, especially the outside of your house and the inside of your house, a place where you know ants have been coming in, going back and forth, and when the ants cross it, they'll pick up the material. I've got some of this applied right up here I've got ants coming in to my living room, and I know they're always, I see them always trailing in this area. So I put out this material right up against the foundation. Just a small little thing. I also use this product when I find carpenter ants. I'll put a circle around a tree because I know I've got carpenter ants coming up and down this tree and they have to cross that barrier, and that's gonna knock out the colony. It's a great way to use this product. And let me show you something really cool about this product. This product is a waterproof dust. Even when it gets rained on, the dust remains. Taro Ant Dust, a great product to use outside the house where you know ants are coming in. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro. And I want to take a minute to show you our product, Taro Carpenter Ant and Termite Aerosol. Taro Carpenter Ant and Termite Aerosol is designed to kill adults, adult carpenter ants, adult termites. I saw some flying ants and earlier, so I think I've got a little bit of carpenter ant problem here. Great thing about this product, there's a two-way spray. It allows you to put down sort of a wide spray or the way I like to do it is direct back in the cracks where these bugs are going to be. I know there's adult ants back here. So I'm going to treat this whole section and that will knock them out. Again, if you know you've got flying termites around, you need to call a pest control operator to help you with that. But if you see adult termites or carpenter ants walking around and you want to stop them from coming in, this is a fantastic product to use. Hi, my name is Stuart Clark. I am the research director at Center Red Chemical Company, what we call the Taro Company. You're going to get information. No, well, you're not going to get information. What's going to happen? What we're doing today is asking you to like us on Facebook. Hey, you guys are hip. You understand how Facebook works, right? When someone comes to us with an ant problem, we help them out. We're going to be giving away ant pictures. It's going to be really fun. We're gonna have games, prizes, ant-related stuff. We gave away a $500 gift card for one of our first 500 friends. If you unfriend someone, you deep, okay. We may have more gifts. We may give away like, um, I don't know, maybe a cruise or a new car. Whoa. Okay, well maybe not. But still, your buddies will say, hey, you know what? I went on that tarot site and I, I saw you liked it. I tried it, that stuff really does work. And you're like, oh yeah, you know, I was pretty much on the ground floor of that one. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Let's say they like raid, okay? Or you think they're gonna learn what an ant aspirator is? No way, this is an ant vacuum. Cool, we need your help because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get 5,000 people to like us. Or 1,000, or it doesn't really matter. Because you know what, what we do is help people get rid of ants. You know, if you're sick of ants crawling on your walls, put them all on our wall uh, on Facebook because that's where they belong. Yeah, we're good to go. Hi, 
I'm Stu Clark. I'm the research director at the Tarot Company. And I'm going to take a minute to show you our product, Tarot Fire Ant Killer. What it is and how to use it. When you've got fire ants, remember, it takes usually two products. It takes a bait product and a contact insecticide for mound treatment. Tarot Fire Ant Killer is for treating mounds. It's a waterproof dust. That's the one thing that's nice about it. Now we're in Missouri, so we don't have fire ants. So we built, but when you see fire ants down south, you'll see they'll come right up against this type of wall. So we're gonna pretend like this is a fire ant now. And you sprinkle this product on the top of this mound. It's waterproof, it's fantastic. So when those ants are coming and going from that mound, they'll carry that material down and kill the queen. Tarot Fire Ant Killer. This is the mound treatment product. Now I suggest that you also get a bait product for treating the entire lawn when you have fire ants, and that's a good one-two punch on fire ants. You can't keep this. Where do these annoying fruit flies come from? They're crawling all over the place. I just put this fruit away yesterday and they're all over, all over it. Well, this week I got a different plan. Here's a special piece of fruit I know they can't resist. It's called a taro fruit fly trap. Put in a little of this lure and you can tell it's working because you can see them. That's last week's harvest. All right, guys, try this piece of fruit out. It's completely safe, non-toxic, and 100% natural. The Taro Fruit Fly Trap. It's the last meal those fruit flies will ever eat. Look for Taro products at taro.com. See you later. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro. We're in Florida today, and there are bugs everywhere. And they're invading this house big time. And the one that we're really after today are cockroaches. There's American and brown banded in here. So I picked up the Tarot Home Insect Killer. We need a gallon of material, and we're going to do an exterior application all around the outside of the house. We're also going to treat inside the garage here, and maybe pinpoint with an aerosol inside to try to knock this roach population down. What I really like about this product is it keeps killing for an entire year. Because roaches lay eggs, and those eggs, when they hatch, they may be months from now before the new roaches come out, but I know that this will be there, and it'll be working. Terra Home Insect Killer. It's a great product. Hi. I'm Stu Clark, the research director at Centerec Chemical, where we make the Tarot line of products. We're going to talk spring survival guide. In this spring, this is going to be really, really important. What you're going to have on hand when the bugs come in, you're going to get wasps and hornets, you're going to get carpenter ants, you're going to get spiders, and of course, you're going to get ants. And that's where we come in. The ants are going to come in the kitchen. They do every year. They're going to come in. You've got to be ready for them. What are you going to have? You're going to have this product. Tarot indoor liquid ant baits because as soon as they get in your kitchen you're gonna put the ants to work for you you're gonna get the ants to carry some of this sweet liquid which has about 5% borax it's safe to use around kids and pets you're gonna cut it open set it down they're gonna find it immediately carry it back to the colony and while the colony is still small this is gonna knock them out okay because you want to get them first thing Second thing, outdoor liquid ant baits. This is the one I've been using for the last two years in my kitchen. It's the same liquid, same plant, except this goes right on the outside wall. Gets them before they even come in, okay? If they keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming, okay, you may have to step it up a little bit. You may have to use Tarot Ant Killer Spray and spray it back in the cracks and crevices inside and also around on the outside. You may have to put a barrier around if you're in Florida. <laughs> you may want to just put this barrier. Great thing about this product is, okay, it's a contact killer. Open it up. You don't have to get out the spreader. You just take this right up against the foundation. Done. We're going to make it easy this year to get rid of bugs. The first time you see a wasp flying around, 
What is it? It's a queen who's overwintered looking for some place to build a home and build a giant nest and create all sorts of trouble. First time you see one, follow them. Follow that wasp, okay? Follow the wasp and then get out this product. As soon as you hit the little nest, this is going to cover it with foam and it's going to wipe it out. Boom, no problem. Okay? If you're in Arizona, you know about scorpions, okay? Material scorpion spray. And remember, late this summer, when you bring home some fresh fruit from the market and all those little flies start buzzing around, Terrell Fruit Fly Traps. If you haven't tried this product, you need to get it. It's cool. All right. And of course, if you have any problem or questions on any of these products, just call the phone number that's on the back of the package, and Carol or Michelle will answer it and help you out. Thanks. I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to take a minute to show you our Taro Indoor Liquid Ant Bait. This is the first product you should grab when you see ants coming in your kitchen. Why? Because ants are coming in your kitchen for two things, food and water. And this product delivers both with a little bit of borax, which is safe to use around the kitchen. When we introduced this product, it was the first indoor liquid ant bait in the world and it's been so successful for us, and I know why. I use it in my own kitchen. The ants come, the liquid stays good for weeks, the ants will come in into the bait station, they take a little of this liquid, they don't die in there, they take it back to the colony and feed the queen, the larvae, and the rest of the ants, and wipe out your ant population in just a few days. Taro Indoor Liquid Ant Bait. It's a fantastic product. Today we're going to show you what to do when little moths start flying around the kitchen. What are these things? Where do they come from? 99% of the time you're looking at an Indian meal moth that you brought back here from the pet shop or from the grocery store. It was already there. It could have been an egg that was laid, but what happens is that egg's going to sit there for a little while, eventually hatch into a small little worm. The little worm is going to go out and it's going to form a little cocoon, just like a butterfly will. And what comes popping out of a cocoon? a beautiful Indian meal moth, about that long, and comes flying around the kitchen looking for a partner. Ground zero, right here. The pantry, typical kitchen pantry. So what do we need? The most important tool that you need to use on a pantry moth hunt is a flashlight, okay? And if you're short like me, you need a chair. What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for any little larvae Okay, which is going to be a, which is a small white worm with kind of a dark colored head. It's about this long, maybe three eighths, five eighths of an inch. The other thing you're going to have to do today, we're going to have to take everything out of here. Okay, that didn't take long. We got everything out of this pantry, except the pantry moth pest. I'm going to use this pantry moth trap to monitor what is going on in case we miss something while we're cleaning things out. The nice thing about doing a pantry moth job is you don't really need insecticides, but you do need a pantry moth trap. And this is not just a sticky trap because pantry moths are kind of unique in what they need. And just like everybody else, sex is a big part of what they need. And so we're gonna give every little male that pops out as a pantry moth adult, we're gonna give him a little pantry moth sex pheromone. And when he flies over to hook up, he's gonna get trapped in this glue. <clears throat> Honey, can you put all this stuff back now? The word got out we were doing this work, and pretty soon the phone started ringing, and now we have found a kitchen that's got a classic infestation. Let's take a look. A lot of these have been probably recently hatched, so a lot of these guys have already come out of their cocoon and they are flying around creating a big mess in this kitchen. So we're gonna trap them out and get rid of this problem. And that's it. End of the pantry moth pest problem.
Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Tero, and I want to take a minute to show you our product, Tero Mosquito Repellent 2. It's a combination of essential oils designed to confuse a mosquito when it's looking for you. You know, you're sitting around barbecuing and your body's giving off CO2 and the mosquito picks it up around dusk and it's coming right for you to get a blood meal. Well, this product is going to confuse them so they can't pick up that scent. As soon as you open it, smell, you get that kind of garlic oil of citronella sniff. Well, I guess it's not too bad. You spread this around, okay, and the granule slowly releases this odor. And when the mosquitoes come in the area looking for you, they're not going to be able to find you because they're going to run into this garlic smell and this oil of citronella smell, just the way candles work. Except this one lasts 21 days and you don't have to worry about burning down your house. Turo Mosquito Repellent, a great product. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to take a minute to show you our product, Taro Carpenter Ant and Termite Spray, what it is and how to use it. Now, if you know you've got an active carpenter ant infestation in your house, you need to bait first. Use this to kill adult carpenter ants that you see. Same with termites. If you think you've got a termite problem, call a pest control operator. But if I don't have either one in my house right now, and I was back here and I saw some carpenter ants or termites or flying insects, and I'm going to knock them down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this, and when those insects cross it, they're going to die. That'll kill them and keep them out of my house. Taro Carpenter Ant and Termite Killer. Okay, we're chasing my favorite bug again, spiders. Spiders are the year-round problem. It's winter time right now. Look at this, spider webs. I've got spiders inside. Look, but I wanna remind people that whenever you're going after spiders, you also need to treat where they're coming into your house, which is around places like windows here, okay? So even though it's winter time, I'm gonna go ahead and treat around these windows. But I'll be back out here in the springtime too. And who knows, maybe when these spiders inside decide they wanna go out when it warms up, they'll walk across that and you kinda of run into trouble too. Okay, sticky traps, let's go inside. Okay, we've treated the outside. That's gonna stop them from coming in. My wife has been complaining that she's been seeing spiders down here when she's doing the laundry. And I wanna find out if she's telling me the truth. We just got this cool, spider trap. So last week, I put down a couple of these traps. So I got a flat one down here. I got this one. All right. Oh yeah. What do we got here? What do we got here? Ooh, brown recluse. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> if I see one of those traps that's got some, that's when I'll use this product, Tero Spider Killer. It's about knowing where the spiders are and then a little bit of insecticide. And the one thing that we've got now is a sticky trap. So one spider's not a huge infestation. Uh, hey, Nancy, I think everything's safe down here. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to take a minute to show you our Taro liquid ant bait in the packaging that it's been in for years. The dropper bottle and these little cards on the back to place the material. I like to use our pre-filled baits at home. I think they're easier and they last a little longer. But for you that are used to using the drops on a card, you know it works and you're comfortable with using it, this is certainly an easy way to apply the product. And of course, like all of our liquid ant bait products, they're designed so that the ants come and pick up the liquid, take it back to the colony and feed the queen and kill the rest of the ants. And you know it wipes out your ant population. So drops on a card, fine. Pre-filled baits, even better. But if they're all the same, Taro Liquid Ant, Taro Ant Killer Liquid Ant.
Hi, I'm Stu Clark, research director at Tarot. You know, there's one household pest that occasionally comes in and really strikes fear in homeowners, scorpions. You can get a black light and try to search for them around the outside of your house at night. It's kind of fun, actually. But as far as treating for them, it's the same way that you do any pest that's coming in, structural pest. You need a crack and crevice extension nozzle for the inside and a spray nozzle for the outside. And you're gonna look and you're gonna start treating everywhere on the outside where you've seen these scorpions. This is nice because it can get down inside. A lot of times scorpions will be in around rock foundations and where you see rock piled up. So you can stick this way down in there and apply the insecticide back in there. You can also cover around windows and doors to try to stop them from coming in. If you've ever woken up in the morning, stepped out of bed and seen a scorpion on the floor, you need to get this product. Taro Scorpion Killer. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to show you our Taro Spider and Insect Trap what it is and how it works. If you're going after spiders that are coming in your house, this is a product that you have to use because it gets back into the areas where spiders are running around. You simply pull this out, remove the backing, set it up against the wall, and they'll get caught in here, come back later, and no more spiders. Taro Spider and Insect Trap. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Tarot, and I want to take a minute to show you our product, Tarot Ant Killer Plus Multipurpose Insect Control 2. This product is what we tell our customers to use when they want to set up a barrier around their house. There's no use treating your entire lawn. If you've got ants, you just want to keep them out of your house. Well, a lot of people will buy a lot of granules and put them in a spreader, but you know what? A spreader is certainly not going to work here. And that's why this product is so cool. It comes with its own dispenser. Every time an ant tries to cross this barrier, it'll pick up this contact insecticide and knock them out. It'll both kill and repel ants that are trying to get into my house. It's a fantastic product and a fantastic package. Taro Ant Killer Plus Multipurpose Insect. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to take a minute to show you our product, Taro Outdoor Liquid Ant Baits, what it is and how to use it. You start every ant control job that you have in your house with liquid ant bait, and we've proven repeatedly that actually baiting outdoors really, really works. This product contains an ounce of our outdoor liquid ant bait. It's got borax, it's safe to use around pets and kids. Here's one that I put out about two months ago. You can see the liquid in it. And now let me show you how it works. When you pull the stakes out, you simply push down and give it a little twist. Now the ants can come up here and you just set it right outside. If you'd like to stake it down, so it doesn't blow away, you can use these stakes that come with it as well. I usually just put mine up against the wall. Taro Outdoor Liquid Ant Bakes, a fantastic product to use when you first see ants coming in your house. Hi, I'm Stu Clark. Research Director at Taro, and I want to take a minute to show you our Taro Pantry Moth Trap. That's right, Pantry Moths. You're in your kitchen, you see this little moth flying around, it's coming from the pantry, from some stored food product that you've brought home, and you need to trap that thing out. You pull the trap out, you remove the backing, and you place the active ingredient, which in this case is not an insecticide, it's a pheromone, it's a sexual pheromone. Place that in the middle of the trap, close the trap up, 
and place it wherever you see these moths. They'll get caught inside here and your problem will be over. Taro Pantry Moth Trap. It's a fantastic product to use in the kitchen when you see the moths come out. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, the Research Director at Center at Chemical, where we make Taro ant control products. And we've got people calling us all the time saying, I've got ants, what's the first thing I do? What do I do? And we tell them the same thing every time. You start with baiting. Put the ants to work for you, okay? And then you remember three things. It's bait, wait, and eliminate, okay? Bait, wait, eliminate, what's that about? Okay, it's about, let's put some bait out. The bait the ants are gonna accept the quickest is a liquid, because they can carry most of it back. And we've got Taro liquid ant bait. It's very, very safe to use around kids and pets. It's a sweet food-based product. Very, very sweet liquid with 5% borax, okay? So it's safe to use inside the house and outside the house, all right? And the ants are gonna do the work for us. They're gonna come and get this bait, the worker ants, and deliver it to our primary target, the queen of the colony, to knock her out, okay? So bait, you can use drops on a card. Inside, I like to use these small indoor liquid bait stations. You just cut this open, set it down, it keeps the bait fresh. Outdoor, we have this outdoor liquid bait station. Very cool, remove the stakes. It's got the same liquid, the same bait. Set it down, give it a turn. The ants will crawl up in here, put this right on the outside wall. If you're going after ants, you've gotta to get to the colony. The quickest way to do that is with a bait, and the best form of that bait's gonna be a liquid. So, it's gonna be bait, wait, because you're gonna get more ants for a couple of days. You might actually have more ants coming at you, which is a little bit maddening. People want to just grab an aerosol can, but you gotta wait. And then sure enough, you'll see after about three or four days that ant colony will just crash, okay? All right, bait, wait, eliminate, it's simple. You just need the right product. Tarot Liquid Ant Bait. I'm Stu Clark, Research Director at Taro, and I want to introduce to you the Taro Wasp and Hornet Spray product. Yep, there's two things that you need when you've got a Wasp or Hornet Spray job to do. One, you need an aerosol that will spray the distance, that will go the distance, and I'm talking 10 to 15 feet because a lot of the wasp nests, as you know, are going to be up in trees, up in corners. So you've got to have a spray that's going to get there, it's got to be tight, okay? And what's great about this one, it's going to leave a foam so it's gonna build up this foam, it's gonna to stick to the nest, and as the wasps, our bees, our bald-faced hornets emerge, it's gonna knock them out. I've got some up in this tree. You see the foam, it's gonna stick there. It's gonna get the returning ones that come in, and as they start to emerge, it's gonna wipe them out. Tara wasp and hornet killer. It can go the distance. Hi, I'm Stu Clark, the Research Director at Taro, and I want to show you a fantastic product, Taro Outdoor Ant Killer Spray. I love this product. This product will also wipe out ladybugs, too, that are coming into your house. It's designed as an aerosol product that you use outside of your house to cover those areas that you can't reach. It's so easy to use with this extension tube. It directs the spray exactly where you want it. Now I know I've got ants coming into this window. Also, this is where the ladybugs come. I simply direct it and put it out. This is a barrier. When they try to cross that, they're gonna die. It's gonna keep these bugs Ants, carpenter ants, ladybugs, out of my house. Taro Outdoor Ant Killer Spray. It's a fantastic product.